Hello my friends and welcome back to Homesteading Northern Michigan. Today I'm extremely excited to show you this rain catchment system. But that's not the only thing this does. This is also a maintenance free chicken water. If you stay tuned to the end, I'll give you a breakdown on every single thing you need to do this job yourself. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. I'll leave a link in the description to my Facebook page also. Enjoy the show, my friends. Let's do the gutter system. Good.
bad guys. Get, get, come on, come on, get in. Come on, ow, ow, don't pick me. Ow. <laughs> Okay, so so we got six foot, and that leaves a little room on the ends. I don't know what I'm going to have to do to alter this. It's kind of like my little design, you know. I gotta do the other side so I can go all the way through anyways, right? So what I'm using for these, I don't know if there's sizes on here. It says drill a 3 8 hole into your desired water source. Um, this bit right here this is one eighth on it but it, I'm pretty sure that's just eighth pitch it doesn't have any kind of diameter on this tap all right we're gonna switch her to slow speed and we're gonna go slow so even pressure you don't want to spin it out and you don't want to bottom it out pressure get it going Ah, don't hey stop you guys can't cut at that <laughs> stop you're messing me up <laughs> Here, I don't have a washer in it yet. So I put a new washer in there. Just screw that on there just to hold it into place. There's no no water in it yet. And now we'll go in there and we'll connect the piece with the drippers on it, the little pecker fittings. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. We're good to get out of here. We're already trying to peck at them. That's a good thing. I think we should put some water in there. Put your wings down. It's supposed to be pecking at the water things that on my feet. Get water now? Yeah, I saw some water come out. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Open it up. Okay, we're a big guy right next to you. I know, I see you. Did you find your pecker yet? Big guy? Yeah, so from the looks of it, maybe, if we're over halfway, we can water the rabbit. Okay, that's good. So we just try to get another home, couple of homes. Shut off valves on them, so we need like a big old splitter on this. Yeah. Look at this. Okay, so as I promised, here's a rundown of all the components you're gonna need to do this project yourself. We have four inch PVC pipe. I cut this using my sawmill and I used aluminum screening over the top of the hardware cloth. This is half inch hardware cloth. And I just tucked it underneath the roof. As you've seen in the video, that's how it's anchored right there is we got screws going through a hole. It drains through two and a half inches, so I doubt it'll ever fill up that much. So, um, you have your rain barrel. You can use any water source you'd like, so, you know, I got this for my mom. She didn't need it anymore. It already came with the spigot. But if you need, you might need to get a spigot and a hose. I had this piece of leftover hose already. The water fittings here, the little pecker fittings, these were $5, $6 a pack of four. I used 12 of them total. I have six on each side. This T fitting right here is four inches and then two and a half inches down here, which I have a two and a half inch down pipe. So total you need two sticks of four inch and one stick of two and a half inch. Moving inside here, we have, they get this dirty real quick. This was all pretty and painted, but we have the two, two and a half inch end caps and then the sticks.
Over here we have the garden hose fitting. This is just the, the male adapter to a garden hose. I bought it brand new and it slips right onto the garden hose I use to run from the reservoir. I guess complete rundown, you can see that we have some, some band strap material and some screws. Well, my friends, that concludes this entire rundown of the parts that you would need. So we have a total of three 10 foot sections of PVC, two of them being four inch, one of them being two and a half inch. We have two caps for four inch, two caps for two and a half inch, a T that is four inch to two and a half inch, the rain barrel, three packs of the water packers, a male garden hose fitting, and a piece of garden hose well my friends this build has been extremely rewarding i i cannot be any happier with how it turned out the maintenance free chicken water is working like a charm it's been about a week since it's been up and running and we had one good downpour and it filled it up the next day with a really short downpour uh, must have only been 10 15 minutes long of a downpour filled up the barrel it's still above where we started well my friends i hope you enjoyed watching this episode of homesteading northern michigan if you haven't and you made it to the end please hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be updated on other stuff like going solar or milling my own lumber to build my homestead on my portable sawmill and of course, a super special shout out to all my Michiganders who hit that join button. Your support is amazing and totally appreciated. Thank you so much. You guys have a blessed day. Peace.